You wish to test the following claim, uh, which is H1 uh, at a significance level of alpha equals 0 0.001. So our claim is that the mean in this situation is greater than 72.8. So our claim uh, goes with the alternative hypothesis, which is good to keep track of for when we do a full hypothesis test won't be necessary in this particular problem because all we're being asked to do is calculate the test statistic. And we're given that uh, in order to test this claim, we took a sample of 100, uh, 735 people. Uh, the average of whatever we were testing is 74.9 and the standard deviation of that sample is 19.3. So the key here is that this is a test of a mean, test of a claim about a mean as opposed to a proportion. And so this would uh, require us to use the T distribution, assuming that we don't know the population standard deviation, which we don't, but we do have the sample. Okay, so it's a mean. We don't have the population standard deviation, so that must mean it's a T distribution. Either way, though, for this particular problem, since we're just being asked to calculate the test statistic, we need to know what is the test statistic formula. And so what we do is we take our sample mean and subtract off uh, the population mean, or the claimed mean anyway, uh, which we always get from H0, that is the null hypothesis. And then finally, we divide that by the sample standard deviation, which itself is divided by the square root of n. So plugging in what we need to, uh, we have 74.9 minus 72.8. So it's important to realize what goes where. The sample mean goes first and the claimed mean or population mean goes second. Put your standard deviation on the bottom and itself needs to be divided by the square root of your sample size. So let's calculate this. I have in parentheses equals, let me double check here, 74.9 minus my claimed mean 72.8 divided by, and I'm going to wrap this in parent, the denominator in parentheses since I've got two things that I'm uh, doing, 19.3 and divided by the square root of 735. 2.3 divided by the square root of 735. Now I open two parentheses, so let me close them both. That closes out the denominator. And we have 2.9498. It says round to three decimal places, so I would call this uh, 2.949 gets rounded up one, so 2.950 or just 2.95.